This rocket had a Kato. A Kato is a catastrophe and I need to repair it so that I can fly it again. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today, in this video, I want to cover repairing a rocket that had a Kato. Now, Kato stands for catastrophe. Now, in this particular case, it's more than just the fins. See, the fins are, I've got two fins that have kind of snapped off, and that's actually an easy repair. Um, for that, I'll just take some, some thick uh, super glue, and I'll just run a bead of glue right along the body tube where the fin snapped. And then I can just push it up. And I can hit it with some super glue accelerator to accelerate the reaction. Okay, just like that. And it's on there pretty good, and I'd do the same for the next one. But that's not the major repair. So when this rocket flew, what happened was the something inside the motor let go. And so the ejection charge went off way too early. And what happened was that the rocket came down in several pieces and it wasn't until after I got it back that I noticed that what happened was, if I pull this out, this is the front centering ring that typically sits right back here in the rocket. And right in front of the ring um, is where all the heat build up and it let go and it just blew this forward end right out because it pressurized that area between the back centering ring and the front centering ring and instead of the back centering ring coming out the forward one came out and it shot forward um, and you can see the damage that it left there um, see where this overhangs here on the edge this little piece right here this is actually the glue fillet that holds it in um, and it's actually not too bad. It's probably halfway around. I probably could have done a little bit better job gluing it in. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that um, it's not the glue fillet that lets go. It's actually the paper. If you look on the edge, you can see the paper has delaminated. So the, the inside surface has come apart. Uh, people always ask, what's the best glue to use? Well, wood glue is just fine. The problem is the paper, and these are paper tubes, and the paper is going to let go before any type of glue you use is going to let go. So it's not the glue that you have to worry about, it's the paper. Uh, but we want to use paper in rocketry because it's safe. We don't want to make a rocket that's so indestructible that anything could happen. Because what's going to happen is the rocket is going to be so heavy that when it starts landing down on the ground, it's going to be coming down at a high rate of speed and people on the ground are now going to get hurt. So don't try to build your rockets to be indestructible. Build them so that they will come apart, um, but you can repair them. And this is repairable and I'm going to try to fix that right now. Um, so basically this engine mount has to be replaced and I have a new engine mount right here. Um, and this is one that we sell here at Apogee. This is a 24 millimeter to a 56 millimeter, which is BT-70 size engine mount. I haven't glued the front ring on yet uh, because I need to attach this shock cord. I'm going to reuse that shock cord. Uh, to get this out of the way, I'm just going to untie the shock cord from the, the bottom end here. And I've already loosened it up so that I just get this out of the way. That front part was totally fine. Um, so I'm going to reuse the shock cord. Um, and in fact, what I can do, I'm just going to cut it. It's, it's long enough where I can cut it off. And so I'll just cut it off right here. And to do that, I'll just use a hobby knife. So this part I'm going to discard. Now, the back centering ring, if you look at the back of the rocket, it looks totally fine. Uh, the problem is there's no centering ring in front supporting it. So I got to take this back centering ring out. And fortunately, because these are paper rings, 
I can repair it easily because the paper is going to let go as we just seen. So I'm just going to take a screwdriver and I'm just going to start punching through here. Look how nice and easy that just snapped. And again, it's the paper on the outside that is delaminated and let go. Um, so now I can look at the rocket from the inside and it actually looks pretty good inside there. And this fin here is bothering me so I'm going to go ahead and glue it right now. It just keeps wobbling around. Now you could use regular wood glue for this but uh, super glue is, is a lot faster. And I had a little bit that oozed out. Just gonna wipe it off. Make sure it's still aligned. And hit it with the accelerator. The accelerator just accelerates the chemical reaction so that it hardens faster. Okay. All right. So now I gotta get this um, the rest of the flashing or the uh, the fillet off. And for that, what I use is I take uh, wood dowels and I wrap them with sandpaper and just glue the sandpaper to the dowel. And I actually got a bigger one here. I like the large diameter ones, but I made this one really long so I could go up inside really long tubes. And I'm just going to start sanding the inside of the tube until I get it all the way flush to get rid of that uh, fillet that's on the inside there. Okay. Now there's also a, a front fillet in there. Um, and you could sand that off as well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that front one to lock this in so that I can, it prevents this one from going on in too far. Now I'm going to finish building this engine mount here. Um, so build the engine mount. I use this ring right here to um, provide some thickness and they always have the little lip on the inside so just sand that off. There we go. Okay, so this has to go inside of it first. Like that. And then I take and I wrap this around and tie it. Put this ring on. <laughs> Fortunately, I can just go through this side. Okay, so now I'm going to glue that up and then I'm going to have to wait for the glue to dry. that green ring up against that center ring there like that and then I want to put a fillet of glue on the shock cord itself to lock that down so that it can't move either So remember on our previous rocket, it broke somewhere right in here. And when the, when the pressure came out here, it just pushed that whole front centering ring right off. All right, so um, we'll 
this. Make sure I got a good fillet there. All right, so now this is going to dry, and while that's drying, um, I want to wipe out the inside of this to get any residue out. And I'm just going to take a little bit of soap and water. And I don't want to get a lot of water inside um, because it will uh, make the paper even less strong. So I'm just kind of taking that paper towel and wiping it around on the inside there, trying to wipe out any excess residue so I get a nice, good, clean bond. And you can see it came out pretty dirty. All right, so I'm going to let that dry and let this dry, and then I'll be back to put it all back together. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is pretty dry right now. It's not 100% dry, but it's about 90% dry. So it's uh, stiff enough where I can put it inside the, the tube here. Um, I'm going to shove it all in, but to keep the shock cord from getting all glue on it, I'm going to shove that back through the back side of the centering of the engine mount. There, like that. Um, and then, I'm going to test fit it. There, it's going to be just like that. Pull it back out. Nice and tight. Um, and then I'm going to put some glue on the inside of here, and for that I'm going to use a dowel. I'll load it up with glue, and as you can see, I keep it rotating to keep it from falling off like that. And it just did. So I'm just going to smear it around on the inside. that in and then I'm going to put glue on this side. You can see that I leave the um, engine mount tube. I kind of tilt it at an angle so that I can get glue all the way around. And this is wide enough where I can take my finger and smear it around on the inside. this and I put my thumb inside and I'm twisting as I'm putting it in. Get it where I want it, right there. It's nice and tight already, which is good. Okay, and then I'm going to put one last fillet on this side here. Good. I want to check on the inside here. And this is going to be really hard for me to see. I just want to make sure that um, there's a glue fillet on this side of that front centering ring. Remember the last time this rocket, uh, you know, when that front centering ring was here, I only had glue about on uh, like about 30% of it. And I want to make sure it's all the way around this time. And I can see down there. I know you can't, but I can. And I'm just taking a long dowel and I'm spreading the glue around on the inside. That's good. Okay, so now I know I got a good glue joint on. Um, I'm going to let the glue dry, pass this back through, attach it to this part. And then my rocket is repaired and it's ready to fly again. 
Um, so my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.